Right. So. Last week I trimmed a lot of the privet hedge. And um, I needed a garden shredder. So I had a look on the internet. Did a bit of research. And I looked at screw fix. And I looked at this particular model, a Titan, and it had pretty good reviews. So I figured I'd get it. It was, I think, mean, £89. It was one of the cheapest ones they did. So I did it. I got it. I went down into town and I bought it. And I brought it home, put it together. And within 15 minutes, nearly threw it across the garden. And it has a, a problem in as much as um, if you have wet woody stuff like you know fresh privet hedge branches basically you feed two in and it shreds it and it chucks it out the bottom and you put your third in and it shreds it but nothing comes out the bottom it blocks and when it blocks up you have to unplug it undo a screw at the back pull the front off, clear the blockage, put it back, screw it up again, plug it in again, start it up again. Another two branches and the thing blocked up again. So by this time I was ready to swear and I know a lot of swear words in several languages. <coughs> so I, I came indoors and I had a look at the reviews again. Uh, and I, I changed the filter so that I was looking at the worst reviews first. And almost every single one of the worst reviews was, it works well, but it blocks up. It's really bad at blocking up. And I'm thinking, right, all of these people with the same problem would indicate that there is a design flaw somewhere. So I had another little look. Um, and I'll show you what it is. Right, so all the material comes out through the bottom. Comes out through there. And the gap is only like that. And they've actually built in a blockage. These little teeth. I have no idea what purpose they would serve. So you've got an inch wide gap. Well, there, my thumb. It's not even an inch. So an inch wide gap and these little teeth. So that if you've got wet material, like bits of privet hedge, um, it will chop up the wood fine, but bits of bark and leaves build up and sit across the top of these leaves and these teeth and block it up. Well, that seems stupid to me. I mean, who would make something with a design fault in it? That doesn't make any sense to me at all. So basically, I had a little looky looky. And I'll, I'll open up the top, the front of it, to show you. Let's see if I can open it up. Here we go. I've taken off one of the hinges so that it opens right up. So basically, you feed the stuff in at the top, and it goes into that blade, and it gets chewed up, chopped out the bottom of there, and goes down there except for it doesn't quite go down there because of those sodding teeth excuse my french so um i had a little thing so anyway i took oh, sorry i'm just having a little bit of a problem here so I, I took i took it back i took the one that i had i took it back so i'm leaving that apart because i'm, I'm going to do something with that in a minute um so i, I took the one back because it was 89 quid, that's a lot of money to me. So I took it back to Screwfix and I got um, a refund. But bearing in mind what I'd looked at and what I think the problem is, I wanted to have a go. That's plastic as well. I wanted to give it a go and try and solve what I thought might be the problem. I.e. those blooming teeth and the narrow gap. So what I'm actually going to do 
Let me just see if I can shut that. There we go. What I'm actually going to do is, this is a second hand one that I bought off eBay cheap, just to see if it works, the experiment. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to cut those teeth off, but I'm also going to increase the amount of space that the, the, the chipped stuff has got by cutting out a small bit. I mean, the, the blade is way up here. So there's no reason why, you know, there's no reason why I can't do it. You know, the thing was, it's a cheap second hand thing. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try taking the teeth out and increasing the amount of space that I've got for the stuff to free flow. Because what I'm going to be mainly cutting is not dry twiggy stuff. It's like the wet, it's, you know, the freshly cut um, hedge branches. Um, and this can't do it. You know, it's, it's designed, it might work marvellously well on um, little dry twiggy, well, like this. Dry twiggy stuff. Might work well on that, but it doesn't work well on wet stuff. When you get leaves sitting across, you get a couple of leaves being blown through and they sit across those teeth. So anything else coming behind it just backs up. I mean, what a stupid, stupid design thing. I've never seen anything like it that doesn't make any sense. You, it's a built-in fail. So uh, I'm going to give that a go. The teeth are coming off for sure. But whether I cut out the front or whether I increase the amount of... See, that's plastic. Oh, it's not a very well-made thing. Whether I cut out from there... Um, I'm not quite sure yet, but the teeth are coming off for sure. And I'm definitely cutting off um, that. And I'm going to see whether that works. If it works, I'll let you know. Um, I'm going to see if I can pause this. So I've done the adaption, and I'll show it to you. So I cut out a complete section there. There's no teeth at all. Luckily, there's a much bigger gap. And as you can see, I've tried it out. What normally would happen is, because these are wet, they sit across the teeth and block it up. So, um, I'll show you how it works basically you've got the two on and off here that's the screw I was telling you about so when it blocked up so don't screw that take the front off of course safety first always so they always unplug it first so that's it it's not particularly noisy um, I've got some wet I've just literally I've just done this lot from these now so we've got uh, what is that that's Philadelphus and now in theory in theory in theory that's supposed to take up to an inch in diameter in practice not so much so basically you have to fiddle about, get it out and hack it about with your loppers. We'll try this one, this is a bit straighter look. You put it in. And we've got a poker, hang on special pokey thing that came with it. There you go, it looks like a truncheon. Shove it down with that. Never ever ever put your fingers in. Just to wiggle it about to catch that blade. And then shove the pokey thing in. So, it hasn't blocked up so far, which is pretty impressive as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, 
Got another branch. Another. It's only a thin one. Size of my finger. I think it's supposed to feed itself through, but of course, you know, what it says it does and what it actually does are two different things. Um, uh, I suggest you wear gloves because it does kick back a bit and it's, it, it does not feel nice on your hands. There you go. There you go. It hasn't blocked up once and had I not cut the front out by now that would be blocked up because it's all fresh green stuff. Try another bit. I suspect because it's second hand it might have been well used and the blades are a bit blunt but anyway there you go that's the adaptation no teeth much more space to chuck out the green stuff and it's so far it has not blocked it up once but because that's so wet and there's like wet twiggy bits you get that flowing through that sits across those teeth the wet leaves pile up behind it and it blocks and all that needed was that so there you go screw fix and tighten my theory worked right I'm gonna have a cup of coffee get out of the Sun and I shall do a bit more shredding tonight when it's cooler